Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Let me ask you this, because I wanted to ask you this, because I didn't get to ask you last time. When Tookie, Tookie Williams, when he passed, were you locked up during that time when he was, you know, when, when, oh, well, yeah. where were you at? Uh, when Tookie was on his last two weeks, his lawyers, Barbara Becknell, uh, this other lady out of Richmond or something, because I knew about the case, so I had to fill out an affidavit because I had uh, some newly discovered uh, evidence, evidence where they wanted to hear my side of a, uh, my testimony on a sworn affidavit. So uh, once they closed the prison down on a Sunday and shut down to where after the visiting uh, was on a Sunday, it ended at about 3, 5 o'clock, they called me up into the visiting room uh, to talk to his attorneys and fill out the affidavit. So now uh, that was on a Sunday. Tookie got executed that Wednesday. Okay. So once I uh, filled out the affidavit and they left immediately, uh, I had a gate pass at that time. They took that, took me off and made it uh, where I couldn't work no more and uh, didn't give me, uh, place me up under pretty strict uh, restrictions. Wow. So uh, we we're waiting on the decision from the Supreme Court. You had the option of the uh, governor signing a clemency, or you had the Supreme Court, which could overturn uh, the conviction on what we had filed, because you also had uh, uh, some white guys that were in uh, high power with him that had uh, testified that when he said certain things, he was high on drugs and this. Now they were recanting. So you had uh, three affidavits, I believe, and then one of them was mine. And uh, unfortunately, they, they, I think they aired in my affidavit, uh, which could have spared his life. And I think that's where the error occurred. Wow. So, and, and, and yeah, man, I, so, and, and and I knew that you, you so how what how what was the atmosphere like because you were you were locked up during this time yeah um what was the atmosphere like after they executed uh, Tuki well uh, prior to them executing Tuki what happens is they lock everybody down twenty four hours before an execution because you got to remember uh, they just had started back very few people have been executed in fact Tuki. Uh, in 2005, I believe, has been basically almost the last one to be uh, executed in the state of California. Wow. But in other states, they do. But uh, at that time, it was like, it wasn't no, like the uh, tension and its media grabbing and its talk, because you're talking uh, where Tookie had been gone since 1979. Uh, when he was arrested, so that's 21 and about five. So Tookie had been gone 26 years, so uh, it's an attitude that you have in prison on them uh, yards to where uh, it was understood but not accepted. And uh, if it wasn't going to be no moves on the police behind it, no retaliation, uh, it just was a sad thing. But also treach and evil who wrote the books with him, Adisa and Ajani, uh, that are still on death row, they locked him up for eight years wow. in solitary confinement behind wow. Tookie execution to where they had to do a hunger strike uh, to get off those conditions uh, that were set forth behind Tookie's execution. Wow. So when I think, because I, I remember during that time, Snoop Dogg was uh, really, you know, in the media trying to, uh, press for change, of course. Um, when you think about Snoop Dogg and all the st the times that he's been uh, um, pushing the Crip narrative, uh, how, what type of influence did that have on gang culture in California? Well, S Snoop is just one of many in an era that has uh, uh, influence on the gang culture. He's been around. He's a veteran. See, the West Coast is not the same as the East Coast where they spit knowledge we got a different uh, 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 mentality and the way our get down is in the state of California. Nobody does it like California, particularly when it comes to this banging. Many emulate, but until you come to the land, the Comptons, the Long Beach, uh, and these areas, 
that are uh, infested with these uh, community influencers, then you'll get a real taste of what this game is all about. And I promise you, I promise you, you ain't gonna wanna come back. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.